Eyesores or opportunities? Empty Walmarts sit all over the country, including right here in Lockport, Amherst, and now Chicktawaga. But if it's not Walmart's responsibility to keep the vacant properties viable, then who? As 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jill Perkins tells us, one of these towns is already taking action, hopeful to bring a new box store to western New York. Whether you like them, save money, live better, or not. Walmart stores are a part of the Western New York community. But what happens when the neighborhood store moves to a bigger, better location and leaves behind what the industry calls dark stores, like this one in Cheek Duaga's Thruway Plaza? Walmart still has their lease. Uh, the owner of the plaza is DDR Development. And that means the future of this dark store is out of Cheek Duaga Town Supervisor Diane Benchkowski's hands. A big concern of hers is the other stores left behind in the Thruway Plaza will lose business with Walmart gone. The retail giant opened a new super center just a few miles away last month. But even though the property is Cleveland-based DDRs to sell, Cheek Dewaga is targeting a store many in western New York could be excited about. We could do so much with it. I, I know that uh, we've reached out to Ikea to possibly come to Cheek Dewaga, and I think that would be a great location for them. But Cheek Dewaga isn't the only place in western New York where dark stores exist. Vacant Walmart storefronts sit in Amherst and Lockport, but in these cases, the buildings are no longer Walmart's responsibility because their leases expired in 2014 and 2015, respectively. A spokesman for Walmart told me, quote, we will continue to maintain our Cheek Dewaga property on the weekly basis until our lease is up. At that time, whoever owns the building would be responsible for upkeep and maintenance, which would be the current case in Amherst and Lockport. The spokesman also said Walmart does what they can to market dark stores for new use. In McAllen, Texas, this old Walmart is now a 23,000 square foot public library. The Amherst dark store is owned by the Benchmark Group, and in Lockport, town officials who didn't want to appear on camera say the property also belongs to DDR, which is looking to sell it to Flom Management out of Rochester. I've reached out to all three companies and have yet to hear back. When it comes to IKEA, they have no plans to come to Western New York because at this time we don't meet their population criteria. Jill Perkins, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Jill. It's been a very busy night for Jill Perkins. Yes, playing triple duty for us. Very nice job, as always.